so uh, before performing this experiment you must be aware of what is diffraction and uh, what is the laser light and what is this diffraction grating and uh, these are the apparatus required to perform the experiment we need a power supply which we are giving to the laser source so we need a power supply for the laser source and uh, diffraction grating is required and because uh, when laser light is incident on the diffraction grating we have we get the diffraction pattern and we are observing the diffraction pattern on the screen so these are the apparatus required to perform this experiment and uh, now what is laser laser is an light emitting device and uh, it emits the light through the process of optical amplification based on stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiations so uh, in this experiment we are observing the diffraction pattern so how we are observing diffraction pattern for that we are using diffraction grating okay so in this experiment we are using the diffraction grating so you can see here there are number of slits so number of slits in this case we are saying if the num uh, there is a slit width having a size a and uh, there is a b distance between two slits so this is one slit and this is a second slit so distance between these two slits is b so this is a a is a slit width and uh, b is the distance between the two slits so when you are adding b uh, when you are adding a plus b so you are using this distance so that is a uh, that is a grating element okay so in this experiment we are using laser uh, laser source we are uh, incident light on this diffraction grating and you are observing the diffraction pattern on the screen so using those uh, maximums and the minimums on the screen you are finding this d what the diffraction grating element is there okay so this is experimentally uh, we are measuring this diffraction grating element so this is the screen that we are using in this experiment and uh, at the central maxima you will know at the center you are getting the central maxima and around this central maxima you have first order maximas okay on the left side and the right side and uh, then on the second order maxima you are having so you are getting uh, first order second order third order maximas depending upon at what distance you are uh, you are putting your screen because if you are uh, you can change the screen uh, distance from the grating so depending upon that uh, you can get more number of maximas on the screen or the less number of maximas on the screen so these are the diffraction pattern we are observing on the screen so you can see here light is going in form of the wave fronts uh, according to huygens principle so you are getting central maxima and these are the n order maxima so this is the first order second order third order so you are getting but all these are of the unequal intensity they are decreasing first central maxima has a maximum intensity then uh, when you move away from the central maxima your intensity is being decreased so this is a grating equation that we are using d sin theta equal to n lambda okay so d here is a plus b okay that i have shown to you in the uh, diffraction grating that a is the slit width b is the distance between two slits so when a plus b we are taking as a d for the diffraction grating and sin theta is the angle theta is the angle that is the diffraction angle at what angle uh, you are getting light to be bending okay so at what angle uh, light is bending so this is the diffraction angle and uh, n is the order of uh, maximas if you are talking about first order so you will put n equal to 1 for second order put n equal to 2 so we are observing maximas on the screen first order second order third order so this is a diffraction pattern diagram Uh, you can see here this is the laser source we are using and uh, here is the diffraction grating so when you are incidenting this monochromatic light from the laser that is a unidirectional when you are uh, when you are incidenting this light on the diffraction grating you are you are seeing your diffraction pattern on the screen so this is a screen where we are observing the 
dye packing pattern and uh, in this experiment we place a graph paper on the screen okay so we just place the graph paper on the screen and uh, we adjust the graph paper in a way that at center maxima we put we uh, make this as a origin and uh, or uh, when we then according to the center maxima you are observing the first order maxima on the left side and the right side then go to the second order maxima we are observing this distance only so what at what distance uh, this uh, first order maxima lies on the left side and what distance it is lying on the other side so we are observing these distances from the graph paper in this experiment so then go to the second order maxima we are observing this distance then we are observing other distance on the left side and the right side both so only these distances you have to measure in this experiment using the graph paper okay so when you get this uh, uh, distances from the graph paper then using some mathematical equation you are finding the value of sin theta and uh, then you are finding the value of sin theta you will get the value of d using the grating equation so this is the grating equation that we are uh, having and uh, in this uh, case we know what is the lambda we are using that is of the laser source at what order you are observing it, it depends if you are using first order so put n equal to 1 lambda we know what laser light we are using then we are experimentally finding this theta so how we are finding this sin theta we are finding this sin theta using those distances from the maximas and uh, and the center maximas okay so these are the angle we are observing uh, from the experiment so uh, this is a simulation link to perform this uh, diffraction grating laser lab so in this experiment we have laser source diffraction grating and the screen okay so you can see here now we have not placed diffraction grating in between the path of this laser light so you are getting only one spot on the screen okay so that means there is no diffraction because we have not used any uh, diffraction grating or any slits you don't have used so you are getting only uh, one central maxima on the screen so what happen when you place this screen place this uh, diffraction grating in between so you can click here grating in place you can see here when you have placed your diffraction grating in between the path of this laser light so you can see now you have maxima and the minima on the screen so this is a diffraction pattern firstly you see when you have not used diffraction grating one center maxima was there but when you are using this diffraction grating binding out lights are taking place according to the wave fronts uh, huygens principle says it's moving in the wave front and you are getting maxima and the minima so you can observe this maxima and the minima on screen so this is a diffraction pattern and uh, in this experiment you have to fix these values wavelength of light grating lines per millimeter and you can just vary this distance okay uh, this is the lens to grating distance we are having and because in this uh, uh, the apparatus available in the lab you have fixed value of wavelength okay so but now you have an option that you can change this wavelength so you can see now your color is changing okay so this is the wavelength of light because in the laser we have monochromatic light so it will give only the one color if you see when you are changing your wavelength so your diffraction pattern is changing okay the distance between the uh, first order maxima second order maxima they are changing obviously we are saying that diffraction depends on the size of obstacle because if you have grating like if you have fixed your grating but even you are changing your color so you can see your diffraction pattern is changing so if you change your grating lines so you can also see when you are changing one slit two slit three slit so when you are changing your number of slits so you can see diffraction pattern is also changing and uh, for a given experiment in this case you have to fix these values what diffraction what wavelength you are taking what grating lines for you you are taking and you just vary this uh, distance okay so you can see all when you have grating lines and the wavelength your pattern is now same but you have just change this diffraction grating so in uh, this distance so you will see 
when you have made close to each other you are getting more maximas on the screen when you are going beyond this uh, now your uh, number of maximas are decreasing so if you suppose you, you have a 10 meter you can see on this graph paper now this is a graph paper you can see here there is a central maxima at the origin and uh, at about uh, 2.2 so um, yes so you are getting the first order maxima here then second order maxima on the left side and the right side both so when you change the distance you can see now you can take three order maxima on the screen uh, this graph paper and for this experiment you have to fix all these values in a way that you get three maxima on the graph paper okay because we want three readings we want three readings to calculate d so you should make your adjustment in a way that you should get three values three order maxima on the screen you can see now the seven spots are there on this graph paper so three on the left and the three on the right and one is at the center so uh, seven uh, maxima you will you must have to take the readings okay so what you will do now if you have selected all this term now you don't have to move all the time you just have to check now at what distance they are okay now go to the observation table write the first order maxima uh, n equal to 1 then uh, then take this distance first order maxima you can see what distance it is it's 1.2 here so when you it is 1.2 on the left side and 1.2 on the right side so take the mean value then find out sin theta then calculate small d okay so this is the capital d that you have selected and uh, these are the wavelengths you have selected these are the grating lines per millimeter okay you have selected so but in a practical lab here you will you will be given a fixed diffraction grating fixed laser source is there but you can just only uh, change this lens to grating distance okay